have completed pre-amplification and spry select cleanup. Now we will perform qPCR for cycle number determination. We have Kappa CyberFast qPCR Master Mix. Prepare according to the manufacturer's recommendations and place on ice. We have TS Primer Mix B, Thaw at room temperature, Vortex, and Centrifuge briefly. Dilute the amount needed for assay 1 to 10 in nuclease-free water. We have nuclease-free water. Finally, we have our sample on ice. Next, we will prepare the qPCR mix on ice. We combine Kappa CyberFast qPCR Master Mix, diluted TS Primer Mix B, and nuclease-free water. Vortex and centrifuge briefly. Maintain on ice. Add 9 microliters qPCR mix to each well in a qPCR plate. A well for the negative control may be included. Dilute the sample from pre-amplification cleanup spry select. Dilute the sample 1 to 5 in nuclease free water pipette mix, and centrifuge briefly. Transfer one microliter of diluted sample from pre-amplification cleanup spry select to the qPCR plate well containing qPCR mix. If using a negative control, add one microliter nuclease-free water to the corresponding well. Pipette mix, apply the seal to the plate, and centrifuge briefly. Note that only 25 microliters of pre-amplification material is used to generate gene expression libraries. The remaining 75 microliters can be stored at 4 degrees Celsius for up to 72 hours, or at minus 20 degrees Celsius for up to 4 weeks for generating additional libraries. We will now prepare the qPCR instrument. Prepare a qPCR system with the following protocol. Place the plate in the thermal cycler and start the program. Record the CQ value for each sample. Set the y-axis to a linear scale. Plot RFU on the y-axis if not using a reference die, or delta RN if using a reference die. The threshold for determining the CQ value should be set along the exponential phase of the amplification plot at approximately 25% of the peak fluorescence value. We have completed qPCR for cycle number determination. Next, we will perform sample index PCR and spry select cleanup. 